Welcome to Raincode. What are the inventory capabilities of the Raincode legacy compilers? When dealing with a legacy system, whether one maintains it, analyzes it, or considers a migration project, many questions must be answered. For instance, how many kicks get main statements are there? Which are the programs that access this SQL table in read mode? Which programs can be called when executing this transaction or this batch job? How many procedures are there? How many lines of code are there in these procedures? And the list goes on and on. Because of these questions, most migration projects start with a complex inventory phase and this exploration activity essentially never stops. In addition to the generation of object modules, the Raincode compilers include the ability to populate a repository database while compiling, so that all these questions can be answered readily by querying this database. After all, the compilers perform the most thorough analysis possible. It's merely a matter of storing the resulting information in a database for later use, using standard SQL tools or custom-built reporting tools. Once populated, the repository contains data about all the compiled programs, including exhaustive lists of kick statements, SQL queries, SQL tables, and mode. Either read, update, insert, or delete, program and procedure calls, input and output files. Some of the information stored in this repository relate language-specific concepts, such as PL1 procedures, for instance. On the other hand, some of the information is language neutral, such as programs, kicks and SQL statements and more. This allows this repository database to be even more precious when dealing with mixed language systems. In practice, a specific option must be set to first determine which database engine must be used for the repository. This option can be specified on the command line or as shown here in the general tab of the project properties of a Raincode PL1 using the Visual Studio plugin that comes with the Raincode compilers. The freely available SQLite and Microsoft SQL Server are both supported for the repository database. One must then give the database name in the form of a file name for SQLite or a pre-configured ODBC data source name for SQL Server. Everything else is automatic. The necessary tables are created by the compiler and whenever a module is compiled, the existing information about it is removed from the repository database if present and a fresh set of records is inserted instead to provide the most up-to-date information possible. Once the build process is finished, it becomes trivial to analyse and extract any useful information from the repository. Using any external tools, one can query the repository database and extract all relevant information using SQL queries. Everything there is to know about a portfolio can be found in the repository. Here is shown the compilation status of the programs along with a few compilation statistics. One can also view all the calls found in the programs, whether they're built-in functions, kicks links or plain PL1 calls. Using SQL queries, one can find all the occurrences in a portfolio where a given SQL table is being accessed, distinguishing updates from mere read-only accesses or an inventory of all kick statements calls and the number of occurrences. You can also build more complex reporting tools based on your needs. Here is shown, for example, a more comprehensive report showing the call graph of a kicks transaction, the SQL tables used and kicks statements. Speak to you later.